Good morning, Mike and Arlen, our Philippine journey. Thank you so much for joining us. Hey, look, I want you to stop right now. I want you to pay attention to this because it's important for most everybody. And I want you to understand it applies no matter what country you're looking at, no matter how you're planning on doing it. So let's take a look and talk about it. I never got it what you had to go I guess this world's too slow for you I think there's beauty in the gray, the cold But you just want the gold And there's no way I can beat it Cause I got no chance, no chance When it comes to her She got the glitter and the fame And I, I just wasn't enough Okay if you're coming to the Philippines in particular, but if you're going to any foreign country, if you're thinking of moving, if you're thinking of changing your life, great. This will help you. Number two, more important than that, we wish we had put it in writing like this. Okay? Um, many of us, including you, have experience, you know, travel, but a lot of people don't. Many of you have been to Southeast Asia, but many of you have not. And then the final piece to that is, is most of you have never moved and lived in a foreign country. You've never transitioned to a foreign country. That's what this is about. This is how we wish we had done it. And in a way we did, but we didn't do it in an organized manner. And we're going to take you through step by step. We're going to show you exactly what I'm talking about here. And I think it's important. I think it's important that you do two things. Number one, you listen to this. Apply it to yourself. See how it applies. Now, keep in mind, everybody is individually different. And... That's going to lead to the second part. This is going to be part of a presentation that we're going to put together, and we're going to take your input to add to it. Okay? These were things that were important in our move based on our situation, and we think that these are pretty generic. But you may have something that says, hey, I think this is generic too. Put it in the comments before, below. We want to incorporate it into the next version. Finally, we're going to put this into a central area where you can download it, print it, and work your way through it. Because this is something you can expand on individually, as we said. But secondly, so that you do it in the correct way. It's so important. I cannot stress it. Honestly, I can't. So, let's take a look at it. How did we decide where to live in the Philippines? Okay? What, what prompted us to pick the location? What prompted us to do every aspect of it? That's important to us. That's what we are thinking about here. And it should be one of the most important things for you. And you can't, and, and quite frankly, unless you've done the vast majority of what we're going to go through, you can't make that decision. You just can't do it. But that's what we're here for. So we try and put out information that is relevant, that is factual, and that applies to people. And this is one of our attempts at it. So how did we decide where to live? Okay, this is your first objective. And you think this is simple, but it's not. All right? You've got to have an allowance. You've got to have a spendable amount of money. You know, I'm not talking about a budget. I'm talking about an allowance. Before you do anything, you've got to figure out how much money am I going to live off of. 
And then you've got to define how am I going to live off of it. All right? That's important. So what's in your allowance? Well, it's going to be your Social Security probably. But if not, it's going to be your 401k. It's going to be your defined benefit plan. It's going to be your stocks, bonds. Maybe you have real estate investments, whatever. It's whatever brings income to you on a monthly basis, even including your savings, because you may sit there and say, I've got X number of dollars in my savings, and I'm going to divide that by however many years I think I have left, and then I'm going to fudge it, and that's part of my income. Great. Now, we're going to talk about taxes and all that other stuff a little later, but not today. So in your allowance, you have fixed expenses, variable expenses, fun expenses or sin expenses, and then savings. Now you can work into this number forward and backward because what we're trying to do is we're trying to find that spot that says, this is how much money I'm going to be spending. This is what I'm comfortable spending. All right. Now, let's see if I can make this work. Fixed expenses can't make it work the way I wish. I wish I could. All right. So, you're going to have to have rent or a mortgage. A mortgage in the basis of, don't forget, the time value of money. And if you don't understand the time value of money, just think of it like this. If I spend X on my rent or I could spend Y owning a place. Now keep in mind, again, all of us are individual, and you as an individual, as a single guy, all right, unless you're a multi-millionaire, you cannot do what it takes to own land in the Philippines. It's possible, but it's expensive as crap, and it's not meant for normal people. So let's just throw it out of the window. You're going to be in a condo. If you're not in a condo, buying a condo, townhome, then you're renting. All right? You've got to be thinking about every month or until you fall into sub several different categories, you're going to be redoing your visa. Now, there are changes in the visa rules. Some of them are being observed. Some of them are not. But it is what it is. You've got the expense of a visa. It's a fixed expense. You know what it's going to be. You know exactly how much it's going to cost to renew your visa. You've got your health care insurance. Now, you may not be able to carry insurance. Not only that, it may not be affordable, and or it may not make sense. But you've got to have money set aside for that health care. So, that's in your fixed expenses. You may want a vehicle. For some people, it makes sense. For other people, it does not. Here in Angeles City, we know a lot of people without a vehicle. They don't need it. We have good, you know, like in the U.S., it would be called Uber. Here, it's called Grab. We have trikes. We have jeepneys. Uh, I don't recommend them whatsoever. All right? Um, but, you know, Getting around in the local vicinity is easy, but if you're going to have a vehicle, if you want to use a vehicle, think about that as part of your fixed expenses. You're going to have to get vehicle insurance. For most of you that get a vehicle, a lot of you are going to get a scooter. You're going to have a monthly rental. You may not have insurance, maybe included, but you've got to put and think about those things. Medications. I got to tell you, there are not that many people moving here over the age of 50 that don't have a routine medical uh, condition. A condition that says, I got to have these medications. You're going to need a cell phone and cell phone service, and you're going to need internet. Just put it all down. Think about it. 
Then you've got your variable expenses. All right. So if you've got your variable expenses, you may need to also continue. OK, I'm going to get a condo. I want a condo. And there are reasons why you would want a condo. And there are reasons where it makes no sense at all. OK, it makes sense for us. But like I said, we are all individually different. And as I also said, we're going to expand on all of these things. Now, you've got utilities. You're going to have those no matter what. You're going to be paying. It's either going to be built into your rent. It's going to be individualized. It's going to be whatever. All right. If you are going to have a vehicle, you're going to have to maintain that vehicle. All right. You're going to have to eat. What are you going to think about with eating in? You can eat in in a Western environment or you can, you know, make your own meals, whatever it is. But you've got to have money in there or thoughts about it as to eat laundry. Don't be one of these guys that wears the same clothes every day. All right. Nobody wants to smell you. The Philippines is a dirty place. And when I say dirty, it's just the environment, the dust, the air pollution, everything else. And of course, there's always trash. Either way, hygiene, toothpaste, shaving cream, soap, shampoo, conditioner. Not that I need it, but it's something out there. All of those things. How often are you going to go out to eat? Dating, for real dating. Are you going to be in that dating pool? Very, very, very important that you set aside money for that. Now, many of you are not going to have these same expenses, but we'll get into that. The thin expenses. Are you a smoker? It's tobacco. Alcohol. Are you going to be bar hopping? Are you going to travel around the Philippines? Are you going to set aside money for entertainment? And don't forget those condoms. And I'm going to tell you right now, don't forget those antibiotics. Because if you play enough, you will pay more ways than one. All right. And then the girlfriend allowance. Now, the girlfriend allowance I, it covers multiple aspects of girls. Finally, you've got savings. Emergency medical and emergency home. Okay. Every month you should be setting aside money until you reach both of those goals and a little more at a minimum. Okay? These things are just important. Now, you've gotten through that. You know what your fixed expenses are. You, you or, or you you have an idea of what your fixed expenses are. Now, and your variable expenses and then your entertainment expenses and sin taxes, all right? But are you single? Or are you partnered? And partnered means a long distance relationship. Okay, my location should be, and you should think about, and both of them, whether you're single or partnered, have common things, but there are some differences. Do you need to be near an airport? I say you do. I say you need to be near an airport, and preferably you need to be near an airport that has international access. Um, and I, I, I got to tell you, Manila is a disaster for that. But if it is what it is, then there you go. Major roadways. You've got to be able to get around. Now, that doesn't mean if you have a vehicle. That means that the buses, the uh, taxis, the private drivers have to be able to transport your ass. You need to be able to get from point A to point B with the least amount of a hassle. There needs to be a hospital. You've got to be near a private hospital. Now, when I say private hospital, what I'm saying is, is you have provincial hospitals that are public government hospitals. Most of you would not be able to tolerate they, they, a day or two in one of these. And they are woefully underfunded, understaffed. Okay? They don't have private rooms. It's all wards. Then there are local hospitals who are 
affiliated and receive grants from the government, stuff like that. And then there are private corporate hospitals. You need to be near a hospital, and if you have a medical condition, it's got to be one that has the ability in case you need it. Do you want to be around expats? I say you do. I say you want expats. But that's, again, the difference between everybody and everything. We're all individual. These are all the things, the security and the safety, dining out, all right, shopping, nightlife, the mall, the internet, and power. Internet and power are big things. So those come across. Now, if you're partnered, you need to add schools to that. You need to add the noise situation to that, all right? And um, then finally, in both of them, no matter what, you need to be near banking and visa services, okay? Now, visa services can be an actual uh, Bureau of Immigration office, or it can be a consultancy that specializes in visa services for expats. You're going to have to deal with this forever, forever. It doesn't matter if you have an SRV, it has to be renewed. If you have a 13A, it has to be renewed. If you have a tourist visa, it has to be renewed. Now, there are differences between them, okay? But they all have to be taken care of. Now, now you have the basics in writing. All you have to do is follow these. All you have to do is sit there. But we would do this. We would say, you know what? If you have other items that you think are important, send it in the comments below, and we will rebuild version two of this. In the meantime, we're going to expand on all of these categories. But at this point, only at this point, only once you have decided what it is that suits your needs, are you able to start looking, okay? And I know that sounds bad, but just because it looks good on the internet, that doesn't mean it is. It doesn't mean it works for you as a permanent location. I apologize about the length. We'll try and keep the rest of these down to a reasonable. But please, number one, subscribe. This really helps us a lot. Number two, hit that thumbs up because, quite frankly, you know, we could really use the boost. All right? And then comment. Engage in this. Tell us what you think. All right? Otherwise, we really thank you, and we hope you have a great day.